Let's go through the trade control panel in Bookmap. With Bookmap Advance, you can trade in a live account from the trade control panel on the Bookmap chart. However, this option is available to all in replay mode. I'm in replay mode right now. So let's go through some of the features. To open up the Bookmap trade control panel, let's click on the padlock icon here. That opens up here the trade control panel as you can see this column. Note that the trade control panel is open and the padlock icon has a blue outline around it. Now let's enable the panel. Click on enable and note that uh, now we have all the different features and components available here in the trade control panel and the trade control panel icon here is lit up. It's green and it is unlocked. This signifies that this market trade window over here is now live. So any clicking in this window is going to generate a trade. I'll go through the different trade functionality with the one click trading in a separate video. Right now we're just going to go through the options here in the trade control panel. Okay, if you don't want to have the trade control panel open but keep this market window live, well we can click here on the button and you can see that the trade control panel is still live because it's green but we have a few options here to cancel all open orders or to close an open position okay but this market window is still live let's open up the panel again and it's enabled and let's go through some of the different uh, features here okay first you can see the different trade data information that is available if you hover over these areas, you can see exactly what these signify. First is my accumulated position, my average position's price, uh, unrealized profit, total profit, a number of, of contracts traded, and my account balance. The trade information here is very similar to another feature that we have under the configurations button up here. Let's click on it and we're going to select show trade status panel. And you can see that we have the same information and data available up here if you prefer that view. Next we have the order types panel here. Hovering over these areas it tells me the order duration here. I have good tool cancel. I also have fill or kill or immediate or cancel. Good tool cancel means this order will remain good in the market until I cancel it. Filler kill means, let's say I have uh, one order for 10 contracts. I want all 10 contracts filled at the exact same moment. I do not look for a partial fill. Uh, if it fills five of them or wants to fill five of them, it won't work. It either fills all 10 or it cancels the trade. Immediate or cancel is a bit different. If I have one order for 10 contracts, but it gives me a partial fill of five, it will fill me those five but then cancel the remaining five. Next down we have the stop order duration. I can either have it as market or I can have it as limit. If I select limit I have another configuration here to control the slippage. The next one down is the stop order duration and again it's either good till cancel, fill or kill or immediate or cancel. The next panel down is the order size panel. Here I input the size of the orders that I desire to trade. So let's select five here and you can see it shows up here in the box. I can use the arrows here to toggle and edit that five lot order. I can reset this, come back down and choose 10. And there is another button here to automatically set my order size to zero after placing an order. So I always have a reset. You will always have to uh, choose another size here that you wish to trade. The next panel down is the order cancellation panel. I can cancel all open orders here or I can cancel only those that are on the bid side or on the offer side. Down below that I have the option here to flatten all open positions. This button first will close any open positions and then cancel any open orders so I am completely flat in the market. Down below that we have our quick orders panel. I can quickly click on this button for a market buy or this button for a market sell. Or I can use a limit buy order at the best ask price here 
or a limit sell at the best ask here. Next down, on the bid, I can have a limit buy order at the bid price or a limit sell order at the bid price. It's really up to you. The next button down is to reverse an open position. If I click this button, it will first close any open positions and then reopen the same order size but uh, the reverse order type. So for example, if I have an open position of five and I am long the market, I click on the reverse button, it will close those open positions and then reverse and I will be now short five contracts. Next we have some special order types below that. We have OCO orders here that are available. We have bracketed orders and if I click on that I can set my take profit here and my stop loss. We can also trail a stop by selecting this box here and then you can choose the number of ticks you would like your stop to trail by. One more thing to note, this, this panel is completely customizable. If I right click up here, for example, you can see I have the options to hide, move, configure, add a panel, or restore the panel to the default settings. So let's choose hide a panel. You can see that that panel of the trade data information is now hidden. Let's right click again and let's add that panel back in and we'll choose the info panel here. And there it is. Now it's actually below the order types panel. Maybe I want to move it back up here. So let's right click here and choose move panel and then let's left click and move the panel up. Let's right click here again and we can choose configure. And you can see I have the options here to configure this info panel here with a, a variety of different settings. Down below that we can add another panel here. We can add the cross instruments trading panel. This is a special feature that allows you to trade off of the chart for let's say the large contract of the 6E, the euro dollar, but have the trade actually take place in the micro 6E instrument. I'll go over that feature in another video. So let's right click here and we'll choose hide panel. Okay, Let's right click here again and we can restore this back to the default.